defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube, Vinci Jr. here today, and we are going to go through one of my favorite purchases of all time. So, um, I have spent two of the last three days, all day, sorting through these cards. Um, this is a massive collection, and we're going to go through the entire thing. You guys will see every card that was part of this, except for a couple commons that uh, don't add a whole lot of value to the set. So, um, I flew to the seller, um, looked through some of the cards, didn't have a whole lot of time, and then uh, we agreed upon a price, and I flew back with the cards, and like I said, spent two the whole whole weekend sorting through these cards to get to where we are now. So I hope the order of me presenting this collection to you guys makes sense. So get some popcorn strap in. This is going to be a fun one. So first up, out of all the cards that I got, um, this pile is what I deem to be you know heavy played or worse probably. Um, creases, really rough wear. Um, edge wear and things like that. So, um, like this War to B, for example, really tough on the corners and things like that. So, heavy play for this pack, uh, pile right here. And then we'll go through some stuff that didn't really um, fit the collection, just kind of some outliers. And then we'll go through um, the cards that weren't really heavy played, but could still be light played or played or uh, or near mint or even mint in some cases, um, but maybe not just grade worthy in, in my eyes based on grading cost and turnaround times and things like that. And then at the end, we'll go through all the cards I plan on grading at some point um, when PSA lowers their, uh, opens up their service levels to lower prices. Um, a lot of these cards I would not submit unless the service level gets down to $20 or less per card. So this first pile right here are all, um, like I said, heavily played cards in my eyes, but this entire collection was first edition. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot of first edition stamps. This, uh, I throw around favorite a lot, but the, um, you know, the box purchases in LA and, and the other one where I, you know, got Magician's Force, Infront Guardian, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Legacy of Darkness. Like, those were fun buys. But at the end of the day, they are, you know, boxes. So you, you don't know what's inside and, um, or what exactly is inside. You know there's cards inside. And then here's the fun side of it. On a purchase like this, you actually get all the individual cards. So fun to see all the artworks and all these awesome cards um, from, you know, all these are 2004 or earlier, except just a, uh, a very small handful. So I'm going to be selling a lot of these cards off to recoup the, um, uh, most of the cost, hopefully. And then um, you guys will see the cards I'm getting graded. So BPT promos, uh, Pharaoh's Servant. Unfortunately, this Jinzo had a nice crease through the middle there, so that'll be for sale. Don't message me on here. If you want, if you see something you want, message me on Instagram. I'm not entirely sure. Um, nice creases through these Gemini Elves, unfortunately. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing with um, whether it's, you know, eBay route or TCG player. Or, um, I think I'll do uh, a decent amount on whatnot, possibly just... Uh, it's a fast, easy option for something like this. So this next pile, that was the the heavy plate pile. This next pile is like cards that didn't really um, fit most of the other part of the collection. So he just happened to kind of recollect a little bit here on Crossroads of Chaos. And uh, just one random tactical evolution. And then he had a couple Duelist Genesis cards as well. So nothing super big here, but except these last few are some... Pretty decent hitters here. We have Psychokinesis, and then we have Mask of the Rose there, and then the, one of the big, bigger hitters here from Crossroads of Chaos, we have Plague Spreader Zombie. So these cards just didn't really 
mesh with the rest of the collection, but um, nothing really wrong with him uh, too much. So yeah, this was a lot to look at there. Um, and uh, it took me literally two full days to look through these and look at, I took every card out of the sleeve, looked at the condition, and I'm sure I still miss something one way or the other. Um, you know, for grading purposes, I'll probably get a couple, you know, random sixes or something of a, a small bend or something I missed on on some of these cards because there were just so many. About 600 hollows. So we're uh, in the RDS now, some ultras, and then we have some ultimates here that I will be willing to sell. This one's, you know, on the plate end or, or worse with the edge whitening up top. Mystical Swordsman level 6, really cool. Perfect Machine King. Triangle Ecstasy Spark, Machine Dupe, Edge Whitening along the top there. Then we're into SOD, Soul the Duelist. Super rare versions, and then we do get into, um, we have some Ultras, and then some Ultimate versions here with Hollow Life Barrier. Really, really cool card there with kind of the Wabaku uh, figure on it. Ectoplasma, always a really nice, creepy card. And then... Insect, Ultimate Insect, Mystic Swordsman, and we have one random Flaming Eternity Brain Jacker, and then Duelist Beginning 1 and 2. So that's kind of like the outliers, I would say, um, of what I was really looking at when buying this collection. So we had our Heavy Plague cards, and then we had those outliers, and now we're getting into the goodies. So these are all cards... Um, that I would consider would not be heavy played. Um, some are gonna have more play on them than others, but most are in what I would deem near mint condition. So uh, we'll, we'll stop at some of the cards and really look through them. So here's a DDS Dark Magician. Had like a, you know, and you're not gonna be able to see everything wrong with these cards versus, you know, being able to look at them. And that's why I love to be able to fly and look at these in person because you can't see everything on video. So this has a couple hollow scratches and uh, kind of like a rolled edge up there. There we can see that. And then an edge nick. So, I mean, I, and with these uh, promos, the, the back, you see everything that's wrong with this. So just some light scratching, but overall, like, I don't know. I would put this at like played conservatively, but you know, some people might call that, um, even like a, a light play near mint. So it just depends how you, um, or you know what scale you gauge it, gauge it against. If you gauge it against PSA scale, that might get like a six or seven, which is like a light, like a light played near mint, or it might get a four. So you just don't know. So we'll go through all these. These are gonna be promos. I've sorted them kind of by category. So there's the Dark Magician again. Exodia from Dark Duel Story. Saryu, Salamander. Exchange, Graceful Dice, and these are all cards that I deem um, not worth sending if the if the service level is twenty dollars or more. You know, if the service level at Magically ever got down to like ten dollars again or something, I would definitely reconsider submitting some of these cards. But there's just something wrong with them where I don't think they have a a decent chance of getting a ten or a nine if they're a higher end card. Like if if a Slifer still could have a chance to get a nine. I'd probably submit it, but it's got um, some edge whitening up there. So no chance on getting a nine there. So just goes here in the sale pile. Beautiful FMR cards here. And unfortunate, just edge whitening there. I think it's the only thing wrong with that. Uh, Sinister Serpent, Harpy's Feather Duster, PCY cards, PCK, PCJ. Um, TSC, TFK, and some, we had a full BPT set. So you guys stick along, stick around here long enough and look through this video. You're gonna pretty much realize that literally every card from 2004 and prior was in this collection. It's absolutely insane that someone still has something like this. I say that every time a collection like this passes through my hands. Um, this is probably one of the, the bigger ones, especially just from, you know, one guy. Um, like I get mail days from people from uh, that I'm subbing cards for and they've amassed them over the years. But this collection was just setting um, in his closet for 15 years, he said. So amassed and then 
forgotten about and here we are resurfacing it. So more BBT cards, just, you know, not gradable, but may, not really anything too wrong with them. Command Knight, some CT1, and then this was the, like, literally the only Asian English card in the whole lot. So some other promos, and I'm not entirely sure what DPT is. I think it was a, a video game. Hobby League, um, uh, what is it? It's, uh, I can't think of it. This is the original release of Cyber Harpy Lady, though. Um, Invasion of Chaos promo set. Uh, RDS promo set, jump cards, McDonald's promos, like you name it. And this thing, like, I don't even know what HL, I had never seen this card. It looks really cool. Might end up keeping it. Um, but just, you know, everything. Beautiful collection. And then a big boy right here, World Championship. So that is going to do it for like the kind of the promos, non set cards that are not grade worthy, but, um, not in like no creases or or bins or anything like that. A couple of them had like small binder dents or um, like pin dots where you could definitely knock it down probably farther than I have it currently. But um, when I sell the card, I will show that and then whoever you know is looking at it to buy it, they can decide to condition themselves. So I'm not gonna like, take a picture of a card where you can't see the the angle and high dents and things like that, like some pictures do. So here we have some tournament pack stuff. We have white hole, a lot of the TP1 rares. And these are like, uh, a lot of these were, you know, eight, eight, nine condition. They're just, I have them in 10 already and it's just not worth it right now for me to send these cards off and let them sit there um, for a year. And that's, after PSA opens their lower service level again. So Dragon Seeker, Mika. So whoever ends up buying these, they'll, you know, they're they're really nice cards. Novak's Prayer, Doki Rider, Sonic Maid, Warrior Tradition, all these TP2 cards off center. TP3 anti Regeki, um, really well centered for TP3. Mechanical Chaser, B Skull, and TP4 Morphing Jar and Fiend Mega Cyber. And here you can play the sad violin in the background. Um, I do have Morphing Jar and Needleworm, but unfortunately, um, these were in a um, building fire and they got a lot of smoke and heat damage where it warped the card and um, melted some of the protective coating off even. So they survive, but not entirely, but still really classic cards there. So not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with those yet or how much I would even attempt to uh, sell them for as they are really damaged. So by far the most two damaged cards in the lot. So we have made it through our promos. We made it through our tournament packs. And now we are getting into the core sets. So we're gonna start with everyone's pretty much favorite. We have LOB. So beautiful lowered name, faded guy, the fierce knight. Um, two copies, both. Like I said, not gonna not gonna look at everyone up close, but unfortunately, these had some nice binder dents in them. So both of these, but these are sold already. Uh, a guy in an Instagram group that knew I bought this wanted to have one for his um, binder, so I sold them. He wanted, ended up wanting both of them. All right, so we'll continue on here. I think there's a binder dent in this trihorn as well, so not grading it. Monster Born, I think also a binder dent. So just for like really nice cards, but there's just, you know, something preventing them from being uh, gradable in my opinion. Uh, I think there's some edge nicks on this wavy left arm and then this ink blob. And then right arm, I think there might be some edge nicks up top on the back on this glossy arm. Blue eyes, here we have some nice edge whitening along the back. And uh, I think there's some pretty heavy scratching on, um, 
on the back as well. Flame Swordsman, I think, might have had a dent as well, but still, you know, a really nice binder card. You guys can't really see any defects here in the sleeve. Swords are revealing light, wavy, and polymerization. Poly is just OC, and I think maybe a couple of tiny nicks as well. And Curse of Dragon, wavy, and Regeki. Regeki has a crease in it, I think, so. But the other cards, if you don't see them here, you're gonna, gonna guess you're probably gonna see them later, so keep that in mind. So that was LOB, and that was kind of the more beat up set. So we will get into the next set, Metal Raiders. So all these cards um, are pretty much, from here on out, um, if they're in this pile, they're, they're at least light played or better in my eyes. So we have Harpy Lady's Sister, a Faded Causagen, Tribute to the Doom, kind of a Faded Catapult Turtle, Heavy Storm, Beautiful Barrel Dragon, Sail, uh, Solemn Judgment, Magic Jammer, Seven Tools of Bandit, Horn of Heaven, and Mirror Force. I think this Mirror Force is more played. Yeah, it just has a really, really dinged one corner, but clean besides that. So just a lot of these cards just had, you know, one thing wrong with them. It seemed like Black Pendant, Invader of the Throne, and uh, some Magic Ruler now, Confiscation, Giant Trunade, Painful Choice, Black Illusion Ritual, Messenger of Peace, Axe of Despair, Classic Ultras, Relinquish times two, Snatch Steel, Morsel Sentry, Megamorph, Toon Mermaid, and then we will get into Pharaoh Servant next. So we're going to continue to chug along through the sets. The last 2002 set, Parasite Parasite, Dust Tornado, Magical Hats, Fairy Meteor Crush, Limiter Removal. So if you guys are interested in some of these cards, like I said, Instagram, but most likely a lot of these are gonna end up being probably whatnot or um, on eBay as just singles. Gear Free times three, Gamma Tech Force, Imperial Order, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Revival Jam, Mask of Dispel, Mask of the Cursed, Fire Princess, Dark Greed, just four Ryoku Fields, just, I mean, it was super down memory lane for me looking through this collection, so, like I said, probably my favorite buy of all time just because, you know, boxes are cool, but getting your hands on the individual cards um, just has a different feel. Mask Beast, Mask of Strict, Torrential Tribute, United We Stand, Dark Necrofear, Royal Command, Destiny Board, and a beautiful Magical Cylinder. So we are through the first, what, five sets? And then we have six more to go to get through Ancient Sanctuary. So we have LOD up next. Um, unfortunately he did not have a batch of centered LOD, so it is fun, fun to just see all these off-centered cards mainly. Reinforcing the Army, Spear Dragon, Fiend Skull, Luster Dragon, two copies of that. Is there a Priest, three, drop off. Get some really nice Ultras here, Dark Ruler, Marauding Captain, Tyrant Dragon, couple copies of that, beautiful card. Fiber Jar, Air Knight. Yamada, Hinokagusuchi, Creature Swap, let's see if we can, Creature Swap, last turn, look how OC they are, and a beautiful dual copy of Yada, and a dual copy of Injection Fairy Lily, so, nice set there, then we'll get on to Pharaonic Guardian, and into Dark Crisis here in a little bit. Suzuki Samurai, Reaper the Car, or Reaper of the Cards, Reaper the Nightmare, Necro Valley, Great Desard, Guardian Sphinx, Don Zalu, Classic Card there. Always like the artwork here in question. Nightmare Wheel, and a beautiful Ring of Destruction, and Lava Golem. Into Dark Crisis, Supers, Berserk, Medora, Love, Dark Master Zork. Spell Vanishing, and then into the Ultras, Reflect Bounder, Kaiser Glider, Cost Down, 
Dee Dee Scout Plane, and then we are into Invasion of Chaos. All right, so we got IOC, Supers, DD Designator, Reload, Big Burn, probably my least favorite holo of all the first 11 sets. Dedication through Light and Darkness, Trap Jammer, really do like that artwork though. A Black Luster Soldier, um, kind of probably more towards the, the played side, but better than that that play, uh, hard played copy I had in that first pile. Dark Mirror Force, Insect Princess, X Head, Y Dragon Head, X Z, Skilled White and Skilled Dark Magician, Tribe Infecting Virus, Amazonas Archers. Beautiful Ultras here in Magician's Force Paladin, a White Dragon, X White Dragon Cannon, Luster Dragon, XYZ Dragon, Amazonas Sword. Um, this one is the only unlimited card that was a hollow that could have been first edition in the set. Chaos Command Magician, Breaker times two. And then we are in the home stretch here in our last set before we get into all the cards that I plan on submitting to be graded. Agent of Force Mars, Needle Burrower, Amplifier, love that with Jinzo on it. Legacy Hunter, Agent of Judgment Saturn, Blowback, one of my favorite machine cards, and Enemy Controller. Unfortunately, I cannot replace the PSA 10. I uh, sold to Gezi to complete his collection. That would have been kind of icing on the cake, but it, neither of these copies were um, PSA worthy in my eyes. So it is what it is. You know, I'm not not gonna lose sleep over not having that card and I helped helped him complete his set. So I think it was a win, win-win for both of us. He helped me get a card that completed my tournament pack set that was a pop five as well. So we both kind of got what we wanted out of it. So now we're going to go into all the cards I plan on grading at some point, depending on the service level. So we are going to um, uh, start here. It's not gonna be sorted by service level, it's gonna be sorted by set. Um, I'm gonna have to sift through these and get cards out that I'm gonna send, send you know, at 200 or $300. Like these cards, I'm only gonna send at $10. So I'm, um, but I, for presenting to you guys, it made sense to me to just keep sets together in, in kind of hollow uh, rarities also. So we have Fusionist, Flame Ghost, Metal Dragon, Pot of Greed, and then we have some uh, field and equip cards here, Mountain, Umi, Dark Energy, Dragon Treasure, and Mystic Moon for our LOB rares and commons. And then into MRD, I think this might be about the entire pile here. Get sorted. Yep. Okay, so white magical hat, and I would expect most of these to get tens, but um, some of these, like MRD, is a 143 card set. So uh, I want to have the full set and mint or better, so I'm content with nines on some of these. Milus Radiant, Little Chimera, Bladefly, and then also I have like 100 MRD cards at PSA currently. So hopefully I get some of those back before I have to, um, before they open again at like a $10 level where I can get some results back and not have to send so many duplicates, um, not knowing if they're gonna get tens or not. I do not even have a fair lamp at um, PSA currently, so that uh, has a really good chance for a 10 in my opinion. Wing Dragon, just some really classic um, Metal Raiders cards, Oguchi, Jensen no. number seven, Queen's Double, Short Prince, Baby Dragon, Soggy the Dark Clown, Prevent Rat, Mushroom Man number two, and beautiful Gazelle there to end this for Metal Raiders, Rares and Commons. And just a few more Rares and Commons here. Mega Ruran, Hungry Burger for all you fans of that, Crab Turtle, Red Archer Girl, and then two Tournament Pack cards, Maiden of the Moonlight, and Queen of Autumn Leaves for Commons. So now I think everything else is going to be a holographic card in some form. So we'll get sorted here. I think this will be a good cutoff point. Yep. Okay. Distalos, the Firestorm Monarch, Big Core, Machine Duplication, 
Recovering Fire. Um, this is a pretty worthless card, but I, I've never even seen this card. And it's got Mechanical Chaser and Tune, or not Tune, just Cannon Soldier on it. So really cool card there. Horus level four and level six ultimates. And then the level eight is just an ultra, but still really cool. Greed and Null and Void. And then here is one I'll have to pull out. This will be an interesting grade um, because it looks like there's a small, like, faint dent on the back, but I cannot actually tell if it is. So it'll be interesting. Like, I could easily see this getting a six, or I could see it getting a nine. And um, so that'll be that'll be an interesting card to follow and see um, see what it gets. Quite our Hercules, and then we have a couple a tournament pack one rares here. Really beautiful cards. Elf Sly, Beast King of the Swamps, and then we are into tournament pack two. With Giant Red Sea Snake and Exile of the Wicked and Skull Guardian and OC Beautiful Head Huntress. I own her in nine already, but um, I think it's worth grading this one if it, she can get a nine. Mystical Sheep number one and then Horn of Heaven and Megamorph. Megamorph OC, I just don't own it. So fine with a nine in that condition as well. So now we're going to get on to let's see we'll cut it off here we'll get into the video game promos that we're going to submit so we have dark magician knight knight's title and sage's stone we have beta and valkyrian harpy's pet dragon zoa and metal zoa PCK Blue Eyes and Aqua Chorus and a PCY Thousand Knives. Uh, PC, Power Chaos Joey, Red Eyes and Cebex Blessing. And then a DOD Wing Dragon of Ra and Dark Sage. Just beautiful classic cards there. And then one card that I really wanted for my collection, I've never found, uh, been able to find a decent one. He actually had three copies and um, two are in better condition than the other one. So I think I might send two sooner than later and then hold the third one back that probably would get an eight or nine. But we have a play set here of YMA Slifers. And then you throw that GBI in there and you get, I mean, four Slifers, just crazy. And then, yep, so we have the ultra set here of GBI and then a dual mastery guide, Dark Paladin, a jump, blue eyes, jump, red eyes, and a jump, blue eyes, ultimate. So, I mean, just super nostalgic, super fun to, to look through all these cards. Okay, then we'll do another little set here of the last of the kind of promos. B-Skull and blue eyes, white dragon from BPT. Total Defense Shogun and Blade Knight, Insect Queen from Collector 10 Series 1 in 2004, a Dark Magician RDS. Second copy of this. This one is in better condition, so we're going to try to submit this one. And then we have Starter Deck Joey, two copies. And here are two of the bigger cards of the submission. Couple white. Uh, dots there on the edge. Um, so probably like an eight or a nine, I, I hope for. And then dark dual story, blue eyes. Um, this one has kind of like a rolled edge right there. So I, once again, I could see this getting like a six or I could see it getting all the way up to like a nine. So you never know what you're going to get with PSA. So from here on out now, we are going to be all, all set cards. So we, we made it through the promos there. And now we're going to be into set cards. So we're going to continue like we did with the um, cards. I'm not going to be planning on send, sent in to be grading. So we're going to start here with the big boys here in LOB. So this should be good. We have Guy the Dragon Champion. Look at this beauty. A 
wavy lower tidal blue eyes white dragon. So this one's probably going to have to go in at six hundred dollars, um, just because I think they'll charge me to it even if it gets uh, a worse grade. So I might as well just send it and get it back immediately. Dark magician glossy. Uh, if I could get eights or nines on all these, I'd be very happy. I don't expect um, all or any to get a 10, really. They would just be mega icing on the cake. Red eyes and then a wavy right leg, glossy uh, left leg, and a glossy head. Then we have some supers here. Celtic Guardian, Dark Hole, Trap Hole, and if we can get it unstuck here there we have it so five of the ten with man eater being a wavy variety so beautiful cards there and then that is it for lob so we get into my personal favorite set overall nice faded gate guardian there thousand dragon and then we have Five ultras out of this set that I deem gradable at some service level. So, Summon Skull, B Skull, Change of Heart, Time Wizard, and Seven Tools. So, just, I mean, a great set and beautiful cards. And then we have a couple supers. Let's see, six supers that I deem gradable. So, we have Senga, Suogen, a Faded Karibo, kind of a Faded Twin Headed, a Faded Garnesia, and a Heavy Storm. So, it's going to be fun, fun next year or so, you know, trickling and getting these submissions back. I'm going to try to keep everything straight and keep all my cost and see how well or not well I actually did on this purchase. So that'll be an interesting thing, thing for myself to follow just to see um, if I actually make any money off this or not with how much grading and stuff is going to cost generally. So here we have Magic Ruler with Blue Eyes Tune. Serpent Knight, Spellbinding, Relinquished, pretty OC, and PSA doesn't let you designate cards as OC or marked or anything anymore. So hopefully they would just grade this as like a 9 OC or something like that. Mystical Space Typhoon, Delinquent Duo, Toon Mermaid, beautiful, and Toon Summon Skull, another classic creepy card. Get into the super rares here. With Maha, let's move this out of the way so I have a little more room to operate. Toon World times two, Banish of the Light, and then we get into Ferris Servant with Call the Haunted, Seize Fire, Buster Blader, Legendary Fisherman, looks really good. I think this has a good chance at a 10. Fiend Mega Cyber times two, Beast of Talwar, and then just two supers out of the set, Grave Robber and Mirror Wall. Okay, so then we are on to L-O-N. Mask of the Restrict, a little OC, um, but I'm gonna submit it. I have a nine, I'd love to get a 10, so that's the best shot I have. Card of Safe Return, Last Wear from Another Planet. Uh, really underrated card in my opinion, one of my favorite cards from the set. Fire Princess, Dark Greed, Diffusion, and then I'm sending some of these, Just it's just comical that they're so off-centered. I don't own any in PSA 10 or at PSA in all, so if these could get you know a 9 OC grade, I think that would be very fitting for LOD and for my, for my uh, PSA set. So same here with Glass Turn, would love to get a 9 OC. And Fiend Skull is really well centered, it's kind of got that print dot up at the top, but I'm going to send it anyway just because it's well centered. Thronic Guardian, Fusia Ritchie, Hell Palmer, Mystical Knight, Visor Shock, and then Mirage of Nightmare, Statue of the Wicked, Gravekeeper's Chief, and Dark Room of Nightmare. So a lot of these cards um, would only be sent if the $10 level opens up, so just gonna have to hold on to these um, somewhere. And then once PSA slowly opens up, be able to hopefully, uh, hopefully they're open in the next couple months and get these sent off. 
So next up we have Dark Crisis, Judgment of Anubis, and Exodia Necros. Guarding Grail, Interdimensional Matter Transport, Blast Held, Dark Flare Knight. Really like the artwork on that one as well. And then there's our Zork. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Invader Darkness, Strike Ninja, beautiful Demok there. Mana Core, Black Tyranno, Guardian Angel Joan, Dimension Fusion, and then the Supers for the set, just four with a duplicate on Chaos Rider Gustav. So we are gonna probably finish it here in this last wave. We have Magician's Force and Ancient Sanctuary to end us off here. So literally, I think about every card in the first 11 sets uh, he had, except for a Dark Magician Girl. So, which I'm fine with. I have I have her in PSA 10, so not like something I really am hunting. I do not have Diffusion Wave Motion in PSA 10. It starts off pretty well here at the bottom, and then it, it tilts, and that's, that's they're famous for it. But I'm going to send in two chances. Um, don't think they'll really either have a chance, but fun, uh, you know, $10 or $20, I think it's worth it. Chaos Command Magician. Dark Paladin. Um, what, this kind of has something funky going along the top two, so it'll be, that'll be interesting to see how it grades. Double Spell, White Dragon Head, Shield Type 8, XC uh, Tank Cannon, Skilled White Magician, Tribe Infecting Virus, Amazonas Archers, and then we are into our final set here with Ancient Sanctuary. We have Missouri and End of Anubis. Uh, two pretty underrated secrets, Archward Zerato, First Stream, Spirit of the Pharaoh, Ghost Knight of Jackal, Dark Magic Attack, and we are going to finish this crazy collection off with a Legacy Hunter. So, hopefully you guys stuck with me to the end. Um, 30 plus minutes, just kind of going straight through cards. But, um, I, I do not think I will ever find, ever find a collection like this again. So, just absolutely stunning beautiful um, crazy to think that um, there I know there are more out there but I don't think I'll be lucky enough to personally um, find it and look at it and be able to buy it for what I think is a reasonable doable price so um, this is a lot of a lot of hours looking at these cards the last couple of days but um, needed to get it sorted out and um, all these cards that are just in penny sleeves back here I plan on getting rid of so if you guys are interested in anything particular, um, they might be sold already. A couple are sold, um, but just message me on Instagram and let me know uh, what you're interested in. Um, and I will let you know if I still have it, but probably going to do a majority on whatnot, maybe a little bit on TCG player and possibly eBay as well. So um, I will have all of those links in my Instagram bio to all those different avenues. So hopefully, um, if you guys want any of this, you guys are able to um, pick it up on one of those platforms from me. And I think that's going to do it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this crazy, crazy. Uh, it wasn't a mail day because I actually, I was the mailman. I flew and picked it up. So um, what he was not wanting to even think about shipping this and I do not blame him at all. So it was an easy transaction. Um, really hope, um, what I, what I paid him can help him out and, um, uh, was, was fun, fun traveling and, and looking at these and, and was really fun to, to spend the last couple of days to look through these, but glad it's over with. And, um, I'll keep you guys updated on PSA, uh, cards going to PSA and, and what these end up grading and, and we will go from there. So, ran it enough here at the end. Um, can't thank you guys enough for you know continuing watching. So let me know your favorite card, and um, we'll say first if you've magically stuck to this point, first hundred people that comment their favorite card from this collection, um, you'll be entered to win some of the um, some of these cards that are either you know in the play pile or, or something. We can work out something where you might be able to choose a card or something up to like a $50 value or something like that. So that's going to do it. 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your favorite card from this collection. And as always, thanks for watching.